Good evening and welcome to this next Railsome Gamer video and in today's tutorial we'll be looking at how to reskin a train for Train Simulator Classic. Um, it's quite an old art, art form, old practice but to be fair it hasn't been updated in a while so I want to show you the most easy and quick way for doing it in 2025. Before we get into it there's a bit of software that you're going to need. First one's going to be something called RS Bintel which is here which can be used to visualize and look at the basically the textures for Train Simulator. You're also going to need a bit of software called GIMP. Uh, here's some work I was doing earlier, but yeah, GIMP is also free. Uh, we'll just close that and then we'll, we'll just do it again. Um, and you're also going to need something called RW Tools, which is just here. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your Railworks directory and clone one of the original trains. Um, for this, if you go pretty much into assets, you can see all the assets you own. Um, we're going to look at the HST, so we're going to go to Kuju, Rail, Sim Rail Simulator, uh, Rail Vehicles, Diesel, HST, and then we're going to basically copy one of these folders. So we're going to copy this one, so we do Control C, then Control V, and then we're going to change this one to, I believe we'll call it FGW White, just like that. Remember to make a note of this folder and what you call it, so I'm just going to select it and click Control C. We're then going to go into RW Tools, which opens onto a page like this, and look at some of the basic script uh, for the train. If you go to open the file, we're then going to go to Assets, Kuju, Rail Simulator, Rail Vehicles, Diesel, HST, and then we're going to go down to the one we just copied, which is FDW White, which is just here. Uh, then class 43, and then we're going to open the main bin file. A bin file is pretty much the properties for the train, um, and basically just show uh, basically how it all works in Train Simulator. Uh, once you open it, you're going to be sh showed a lot of uh, text. Don't worry too much about getting your head around it. It's really not that important. There's only a few lines we need to change. They're fairly straightforward. So I'm just going to zoom in, uh, just like this, and the only bit we're actually going to change is this word up here, so we're going to change that to white, and we're also going to change this one to white, so they're both matching, just like that. So once we've done that, uh, we just need to change one other thing, and that's the geometry ID. Again, don't worry too much about geometry and what it means. Geometry, I'm just going to click find and it's going to find the geometry ID just down here. We can then close that and in here uh, if you look at the file path you can see how the folders all formed. You just need to copy the new folder that you've named so FDW White, going to click Control C and we're going to put in the geometry ID line just here so where it says FDW White, FDW Pink and we're just going to put that in there and click Save just like that. Uh, or you can go to File and then save TS2018 file, just like that. We're then going to close our W tools. Uh, yes, we do. And then we're going to go to RS bin tool and click File, Open SERS file. And then we're going to scroll and find the file that we just copied. So go to Kuju, Rail Simulator, Rail Vehicles, Diesel, HST, FDW White, which is just here. Uh, class 43, textures, and then in this folder, these are all the textures for the train. You might be going, well, hang on, which one do I need? How do I know which uh, one I generally, you know, want to paint? So generally, the main one it is called something like it'll just have, it'll just be one title with no specialist end, so it won't say glass or bump or anything like that. Um, you can also open them to have a look. So if we just open this one, so I know from previous experiences, this one's called HST PW FGW one underscored um, and that is the main texture for the train just like this um, another thing to note here is the actual train um, pretty much like this compression down here where it says DXT3 uh, that will come very handy later so we now need to export this uh, so it can be drawn on and modeled or modded if you go to export DDS file and then we're going to go to FW white and we're just going to do export pink, uh, yep, yeah, export pink, just like that, and click save. And it'll say data successfully exported. 
We're then going to open a bit of software, the one that's called GIMP. So if we go to GIMP just here, uh, wait for that to load, and then we can edit the um, the texture. I will put a link in the description to all these files, all the all these um, programs. They're all free, um, not dodgy, I promise. Um, so you can do it at home. We're then going to go to File, Open, and then we're going to go to our location where we copied it. So SSDE. Steam Steam apps, which is just down here. He says, Where the hell is it? Am I just looking at Steam apps? Common Railworks Assets. And I'm going to scroll down to Kuju Rail Simulator Rail Vehicles Diesel HST. And then we're going to go to FW White. This one here, class 43. Uh, textures and then you can see the one here uh, exported just that one pretty much exported pink so we're going to open that one um, here is going to ask if you want to open the bitmaps so make sure you have the settings like this so don't generate bitmaps and uh, bitmaps and just click open just like this sometimes it'll open with a sort of gray checkerboard over it um, to turn this off, if you go to Layers, um, go to Transparency, then Threshold Alpha, and make sure this is at zero, just like this. If it's not, you'll get a checkerboard just like that. Um, so just remove it down to zero and click OK. We're actually going to paint this train white. So we're going to go pick a nice white colour. This is just for demonstration purposes. Click OK. And with our paint port, just going to click. Uh, we might actually probably make it a bit of a grey colour. Maybe that one. It's kind of white. Uh, just going to click that just like that it's it's rough it's a rough one so we're just going to go back to file uh, export as um, and then we're going to say comp design um, and then we want to click here where it says select file type and go down to dds image and click export back in our sbin tool uh, we talked about this compression down here dxt3 we now need to set that compression in our export menu uh, for GIMP. So make sure that's like that. Uh, all visible layers and just click export. Back in our spin tool, we're going to go to import DGS data and we're going to select, there we go, comp design. Uh, this one just here and click OK. And then followed by save. And that's all we need to do in our spin tool. So, if we've done it all correctly, if we now go to Train Simulator, actually before we go to Train Simulator, we need to go back to our main Railworks uh, directory, um, go to our E drive, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Railworks, Assets, Kuju, which is, I always lose it, just here, Rail Simulator, and then we need to delete the Blueprint Pack, just there, just like that. Right. We can now open Train Simulator, so we go to Steam and then click Open Train Simulator, it will then load. Then we can go to Build and find a really lightweight route where we can check our train. Go to Academy and then click Edit. Um, we're then going to go to, once Academy is loaded, just check that simulator is actually imported. So if you go to our Kuju file, uh, it is. And then if we go to our scenario editor, uh, we should be able to load in our train. Um, so just over here. So if we go back over here and go to Kuju, hopefully, uh, I'm just going to take that one. Hopefully our train should be visible. It's going to zoom in because there's a lot of HSTs. Uh, I'm just going to go down to FGW. Uh, and you've got FGW white here, so if we've done it properly, it should load just like that. So, oh, sorry. Um, that is how to reskin a train in uh, in Train Simulator, effectively. The easy version, I hope it is easy enough and you understood kind of what I was doing. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. You can maybe give us a little subscribe, we really, really do appreciate that. And uh, for more content like this, we will see you in the next video or, you know, the next tutorial. If there's anything that you didn't really understand, just drop it in the comments. I'm sure we can go through it. Um, but yeah, that is how to reskin in Train Simulator. Thanks for watching.